Lord, everyone. God has been good to us down to another week. So glad to see everyone. We ask you that you can turn out the child, Mr. Carl's house. Thank you. We go before the holy altar of God. What better time is it? Sunday morning for the people of God, the family of God, that assemble themselves together in the house that God ordained for the family of God to be. Come into his house as a family. And we all worship him. We all give him thanks. For being the God that He is, there is only one God. There is only one Lord. There is only one salvation. Just think about how God protected you from all of the seen and the unseen things. The day that you just see that something could have took your life, but because of his mercy, because of his grace, the Lord protected us, and we thank him. Hallelujah. Those that are on the airway, we invite you into the house of prayer worship service. And what we say here in this house goes for you out there on the airway. It's time for you to come worship him. Give God thanks. Hallelujah. For being the God that he is. Show you by your head to me. The Father of all living. The Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we come on this fourth Sunday. The last Sunday in this month, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. You've been good to us. Lord, you Oh, God. 
morning, Lord. Lord, that we are free. You free and you deep. Lord, that we're not caught up in this world mess. We thank you this morning, Lord. You walk the Lord with the God. You for being free. You free from sin. You sin has no more. You can't kill me over us. All because of Jesus Christ. And Lord, we thank you. Father, we pray for this world. Lord, we pray, Lord. Lord, we know who's in charge. We know, Lord, that you sit high and that you, that you look low on us. And you know, Lord, you know all that's going on. But, Lord, no matter what the situation might seem to us, Lord, you are on schedule. You are on time. You are on time, Lord. Oh, 
Hallelujah. Bring us closer together. So close that we operate at one. Like you, Lord. Oh, glory. We want to be like you. Lord, bless our rendition on today. Lord, we pray. Hallelujah. And with everyone that you're entering into these days. And into the very presence of the Almighty God. Lord, we love you. We appreciate you. We extol your name. And Lord, we pray for every bereaved. Hallelujah. Those who lost love. We pray especially, Lord God, for our cousins on this morning. The bank family, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Bless them. Feel that void of emptiness that surrounds them. Hallelujah. For Lord, we know that there is nothing you can't do. Lord, we thank you for being a God of complete. Hallelujah. There is no failure in you. Lord, with an outstretched arm and a heart that bursts and a soul that loves you. We invite you in, Lord. And the one that shall come. Let no one be the same way that they can. Lord God, would you heal today? Lord, would you deliver today? Lord, would you set free today? Lord, would you say, we claim the backside. This is our prayer from the house of prayer. This is our prayer. When we pray like that, we just say we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody, our worship leader for the moment. And that ought to be our very own, our organist, Brother Joseph, our first speaker, Brother Holly, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.
me to hear that of the time in the morning. For in thee do I trust. Cause me to know the way wherein I should walk. For I lift up my soul unto thee. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemy. I flee unto thee to hide me. Teach me to do thy will. Teach me to do thy will. For thou art my God. Thy spirit is good. Lead me into the land of, of rightness. Quicken me, O Lord, for thy name's sake, for thy righteousness' sake. Bring my soul out of trouble. And of thy mercy, cut off my enemies and destroy all them that afflict my soul. For I am thy servant. The Lord have a blessing to the reading of His word in Jesus' name. At this time, brother. Jim.
about the Lord Jesus Christ. All that he has done for us. All that he has given us. Hallelujah. When you believe on him, you've got to want to thank him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We didn't find ourselves. Glory to God. Jesus found us. Hallelujah. Sinners walking around in a lost world. Glory to God. He called us out. Hallelujah. Out of a world of darkness. Into a world of marvelous light. Put us on a solid rock. Jesus is the solid rock. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Saints of God, God has been so good to us. You can't even, you don't even know where to start. Hallelujah. When you look at what God has done for us. Hallelujah. We owe him. And all he wants is his praise. Hallelujah. All he wants is for his special people to magnify his name. To lift him up. Because he is worthy. Hallelujah. Mother Ellis would say he's beautiful. I extol his name. Glory to God. We certainly do thank and praise, Brother Jody. Amen. You are doing the praise part of the service. You know, praise and worship goes together. I'll say that again. Praise and worship goes together. But because when you praise him, from the very depths of your soul, it will lead you into worship. Hallelujah. You can't have one without the other. Praise will lead you into worship. And worship is where he can minister to our very own soul. Glory to God. God is good. Hallelujah. God is great. to prepare for the word of God. Amen. And at this time, we're going to bring Sister Greta forward. Hallelujah.
said, my hope is built. My hope is built on nothing. That church. Every 
situation. Those things that weigh heavy on our hearts. That we didn't share with no one. You know. You love God. Hallelujah. And I stand on this morning that you will touch the heart of your people. For these are your people. Hallelujah. Bless them. Deliver and set free. We're forever praising and honoring you. Let's give them all the praise. Hallelujah. All that is within me. I bless his holy name. I thank God. God is good, church. Hallelujah. Nothing better than good. And we thank God for this opportunity to stand and to claim God's word. Yes, Lord. I was trying to get a message together. Did I tell you to stand? I'm sorry. <laughs> she stood too. I'm sorry. I said, as I stand. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but I praise God. I praise God as I stand. I thank God. Because we realize that it can be different. My mom used to always say, Greta, don't ever think it can't be voice. It can be said. So we are blessed beyond measures to be here in the land of the living and our sound mind, sound mind things may not be the way we want them to be but we're here I always remember a, a color purple Oprah uh, Oprah not Oprah Whoopi Goldberg because I may be black I may be ugly but I'm here we're here we're here and while you're here let's live God said, I came that you may have life yes. and more abundantly. Uh -huh. And sometimes it disturbs me when I see the body of believers that have lost hope. Yes. The body of believers that have lost hope because the world looks at us. And when we've lost hope, we have nothing to offer the world. That's right. And my thought is this morning, don't lose hope. And don't lose hope in God. Amen. I'm to say, Greta, we have that hope that goes beyond the grave. Yes, that when we leave planet Earth, Saints, we, it's something better over on that side. Yes. We want to see God's face. Uh -huh. But we want to just not see his face. We want to see his face in peace. Because yes, right. we all want to see his face. Right. Are you going to be the one that says he's going to take that part from me? I know you not. Or he's going to say, well done to the bear that good and faithful service. Come on. Enter to the joy of the Lord. is Romans the 15th chapter and the 13th verse. It says, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. And then I went to the Webster and I said, let me define hope. And hope is several definitions, confidence, expectations, Optimism, anticipation, courage, hopefulness, not hope, hopefulness and faith. And then as, as I was studying, I called my son in the room. I said, Chuck, come here for a minute. I says, I want to ask you a question. How do you categorize hopelessness? I said, he, he was a kind of stumped. I says, well, think about your friends. And I'm sure you come into some friends that show signs of hopelessness. And he says, expectation level is reduced. These are people that have no hope. He says, and I've noticed, future is tainted. Their future is tainted. It looks grim and bleak. Inability to look towards or see any positivity. That's a person that's hopeless. But as a body of believers, we should not be caught in that state of hopelessness. We shouldn't respond to our trials and tribulations as if we are losing hope. Come on, come on. No matter how dark or oh, desperate yeah. a situation uh -huh. seems, hope abides. Oh, our hope is anchored in Jesus yes, Christ. And when you read the word of God, everywhere Jesus Christ went, 
he brought hope. He didn't bring despair. Right. When he was in a situation when someone was sick, he brought hope. Someone was in need, he brought hope. And that's how we should be as a body of say we love God, a body of believers. And when you think about it, it says, I want to raise your spirit. I, I wrote this out because I know how to do it. I want to raise your spirit and show you never to lose hope in God. If you don't have hope, no need to have faith. But think about it. Hope and faith goes together. Yes. They go together. Hebrews 11 and 1 says, now, now, right now, faith is a substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. And a lot of times, saints, we're guilty of wanting to see it before it materializes. Right. But when you read the scripture, it says faith. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. I'm hoping for something. I don't see it, but I believe it's going to come to fruition. Yeah. As a believer, says we got to hold fast to our hope. Yes. Don't lose your hope. Yes. And I thought about, as I was studying, I thought about the woman with the issue of blood. Yes. 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 Think about it. Yes. It's in Mark. If you want to read the letter, it's in chapter Mark. And think about this story. Everybody knows the story, the woman with the issue of blood. Uh -huh. She went to the doctor for 12 long years. Yes. But then as I was sitting here thinking, I said, but she had to have hope because she continued to go to the doctor. Right. Because right. she could have sat there and died. Right. And just right. bled to death. Right. And gave her blood. Right. But she had hope. Yes. So she heard of this man named Jesus. And I think Jesus was going to heal someone else. Yes. But what did she She had so much hope. He says, I don't know, but if I just can just oh, touch oh, yeah. the hem of this garment, I know I will be made whole. And a lot of times, since we we give up before we see the manifestations of the Holy Spirit working in our lives, don't give up. She was persistent, but look what she got. She got a healing. Uh -huh. After 12 years of life, and I thought about you, Mother Bash, and I don't want to put you on the spot. I thought about you, Mother Bash, and I says a lot of times, we know our time and chance happens to all of us because when we are young, get older, and things happen, your body breaks down. And a lot of times, our reason is, well, I'm old now. These right. things are just about right. supposed to happen. But I don't think sometimes we need to accept certain right. things. Come on, come on. Some things I'm just not going to accept. Right. Because the Lord says, if you ask me anything, anything. in my name, I'm going to do it. Especially when you walk in the right before him. Hallelujah. So I said, exactly. You won't and I said, Mother Bash, I thought about you today. I said, Mother Bash has been faithful. And I was just sharing with Sister Jean. I said, you know, Mother Bash, I was talking about you as an usher. And I said, Mother Bash has been faithful. And I said, Lord, I just pray that she don't give up. So Mother Bash, hold on. Don't give up your hope. You see what God can do. You were here when you seen miracles. Hallelujah. You see what God can do. There's nothing impossible to them that believe. And I said, God, bless Mother Bash. Build up her hope. Build it up. Hallelujah. We want to talk to her. Remember, God is not going to work if we don't have the supply of faith. The scripture says, according to whose faith? According to your faith, be it unto you. You've got to have faith to believe that God is able. And I don't care what sickness, God can do anything. There's nothing. And that's Luke 18 and 27. So Jesus said, Things which are impossible with men are possible with God. Amen. Yes. Amen. I don't get it. And you know, a lot of times we put our stock in these doctors, which they're good to have and go to, but the doctors don't have the last say. God has the last say. Hallelujah. God has the last say. He's the healer. He's the chief physician. Hallelujah. And he can work on us. He can do surgery without a cut. He can give us a surgery without a cut. Hallelujah. Um, some tests tomorrow. And I says, God, I trust you. Yes. And whatever it is, hallelujah, yes. we're able to do it. Yes. We got to trust God and not hold it in our faith, saints. Yes. Hallelujah. Because it's so easy. I remember a couple weeks ago, I don't want to put you on the spot, Brother David. He had went on vacation. And he came back 
And when he came, I, I happened to turn around, I said, oh, baby, he looks so good. And I said, he looks so jubilant and he happy. So I went over to him and gave him a hug. I said, David, you look so good. He was feeling good. He was talking, you know, up. And his next response, I'm moving to Florida. And then I started thinking. I said, you know what? That same hope when you went to Florida and you felt, all oh, right, uh, refreshed. You know, your mind gets refreshed. You can have that same hopefulness right here. A lot of times we think we got to move away to have Right here, as Elvis says, in the belly of the beast, you can have hope. Hallelujah. Don't run away. When God has planted you, he planted you here for a reason. Because guess what? We are the light of the world. When I came by here on Thursday to pick up Elder, I was across the street. And I said, man, this place looks hopeless. But guess what? Right out there, we are the light of the world. And we gotta let our light shine. So what they're out there doing drugs and whatever they're doing, we should let our light shine. And they may say, you know what? Wow, I see something different in that sister, that brother. I want what they have. But we can't walk around hopeless. We can't give them anything. Let's take it back. We come to show the love of God. Hallelujah. I don't care if things are not going well in your life. Remember, God is in control. God sees all, he knows all, and he will work according to his own will and purpose. We can't rush him. He may not come when we want him, but guess what? He's always on time. Always, always. And we must not focus on our circumstances. A lot of times, that is our problem. We focus on the negativity. What's going wrong? Right. But remember, God is all power. He created the universe. He is the great idea. Whatever we need, guess what? God got it. He'll be to you just what you let him be. Want to be a small guard? He'll be small. But if you want to see him as a big God, he will be that. According to your faith, he can come to you. Whatever, whatever you dwell on, listen at this one, whatever we dwell on, you magnify it. If it's negativity, you magnify it. If you dwell on how bad life is treating you, how bad you have it, you make it bigger. But try thinking about the goodness of God. Start dwelling on his greatness and his power and his majesty. Then the Lord is magnifying in you. You will be filled with hope. And that means you will turn your faith into heaven. And my hope today is that we impact this neighborhood. And I remember a couple of Tuesday nights ago, we had such a wonderful prayer. And the Holy Spirit compelled, I didn't even know she did it. She went outside and she prayed for this enemy. And that's our job. We have the power within us to ask God, clean this area up. Yes. And she went out there and prayed the prayer of faith. And we got to watch God work since. Yes. We cannot yes. succumb right. to what we see and become right. hopeless like the world. Right. You know, you look at President Biden, he's a good president, but he's making hopes, he's making promises that he can't keep. That's right. That's right. Our hope is in Jesus, yes. saints. Hallelujah. Yes. You know, we was at the oh. luncheon on yesterday. Somebody yes. says, oh, there's another stimulus check coming. I said, but you, you know, you're making promises, but our hope is in Jesus. Yeah. That's a song I say. My hope is built on nothing. But Jesus, Jesus is our hope, saints. Not President Biden. Yeah. You know, you think about Jesse Jackson. He says, keep hope alive. That's right. And we really do. We got to keep hope alive in the lives of your children. Those that have young children, you can't walk around with your head hung down because you got someone looking at you. Your kid is looking at you, God. Your kid is looking at you, God. You got to keep hope alive in your life. And that journey has not started yet. So what you're putting in them, put some hope in them. Put the love of Jesus in them. Hallelujah.
You're the only one coming to church, you and David. Keep praying. Keep praying. Pray, pray for your mom. Pray for your sister. Pray for your nieces and nephews. You'll be the light. Hallelujah. You'll be the light, God. You'll be the light for your brother. Hallelujah. You'll be the light. Trouble on every side. After you get out of this one, 
is something else. Yeah. Turn around, it's something else. Oh, that's right. It's just life. In the church, out of the church, it's just life. There's always something, but guess what? We still have hope. Yeah. Hope in Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah. That he's going to work on our behalf. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. God is able yeah. to do just what he said he would do. Yes, he's able to perform. Able. I believe it. Oh, Lord, I believe it. The impossible. But it's according to our faith, church. Oh. And whatever you do, don't Thank God for that blessed hope. 
Hallelujah. Hope. Don't give up hope. And don't give up on Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hope is, hope is here. Hope is here. Hallelujah. Put your time in. Payday's coming after a while. Put your time in. Payday's coming after a while. Put your time in. Payday's coming after a while. Put your time in. Put your time in. Put your time in. about the one with the issue of blood. And if you notice, when you do research, you will see that the place was jam-packed. Everybody was bumping up into Jesus. But see, there was something about that woman with the issue of blood. See, you just can't see Jesus away. She, she touched Jesus out of faith. It was her faith that heals her because she touched him out of faith. When you touch Jesus, you got to touch him with faith, honey. She said, if I can only touch the hymn of his God, I'll be made whole. And what happened? When she touched the hymn of his God, she didn't touch no other part but the hymn of his God. Don't you know that happened? When she touched him, grabbed the hem of his garment, she 
walk up and shut with out of me. Don't you know when you touch him with pain, that healing virtue come out. It came out of him and went in there and she was healed. So how do you have to touch him? You have to touch him with the hope of faith and believe. Hallelujah. And you shall be made whole. Come on, let's give to God. Let's give the Lord a hand clap for that wonderful word of hope. Hallelujah. I woke up with hope. Hallelujah. I laid down with hope. Hallelujah. I grab hold your hope. I do like, hallelujah, Jacob did when he grabbed that age. Hallelujah. Oh, come on over here. I'm not letting you go till you bless me. You grab hold of the hope. And he was blessed. We make it so hard. We make it so complicated. Hallelujah. We make it complicated because we think that, hallelujah, money is the answer, but it's not. Jesus is the answer. Glory to God. Thank God for the word. Amen. Thank God for hope. Do you have hope in him? Hallelujah. My hope is in nothing less than Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I love him this morning. Amen. I thank him for we thank the Father for the blessed hope. The mystery is no longer a secret. Hallelujah. The mystery has been revealed. And it's none other than our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He is the key to the mystery. If you want life, if you want life more abundantly, Grab on to him. Hallelujah. It's like a, when you grab a hold to Jesus, it's like a, a roller coaster ride. Hallelujah. It's some thrills. It's some down and it's some up. It's a thrill. A Christian walk is a walk full of thrills. If you want it to be. Amen. Thank God, Sister Greta. Amen. I didn't know what was happening during the week. She was so quiet. I didn't know she was speaking. I ain't know what to say hello, goodbye. <laughs> See, when you get my age, when you're learning to keep your mouth shut. <laughs> I, I got my brother over here, you know, we talk like you were elder. The best thing to do sometimes is keep your mouth shut. Y'all, we better learn to take some good advice. That's what you call wisdom. Glory to God. I'm so glad that, amen, that the women got together on yesterday. Amen. It's called a unity. I, 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 I got the report. I didn't go to my wife to get the report. I called one of the saints. Amen. She gave me, I know, I know everything that y'all ate. <laughs> so wonderful to get together. Amen. Learning one another. Amen. We thank God for the word. At this time, we want to change our order of service. Amen. As we prepare to give back unto the Lord, that which the Lord has blessed us to share. Amen. And give back. Amen. It's offer time in the sanctuary. Let's give the Lord a hand clap. Amen. Say to God, you know our obligation. It has been asked of us, those who can, to give $20 in the morning offering. Amen. And if you can give more, amen, give according to how the Lord has blessed you. I, I just love this this offering part of the service because it's, it has to do with integrity. 
Amen. Integrity with God. Amen. And of course, I tied in this 10% of iron. By all means, don't know my stand. If you want to write that check for one million dollars, you can write it. Amen. To the House of Prayer Church. Amen. For the building of God ministry in this vineyard for the Lord Jesus Christ. And I, I will continue to say that until the Lord called me home. And I believe that one scripture in the Bible where it says that you have not done because you ask not. And I'm asking there's someone out there who's going to write that one million dollar check for the glory of God. Hallelujah. I'm pleased with God. Hallelujah. At this time, saints, we're going to turn you to the hands of our ushers. Amen. At this time, you and now ushers charge.
Thank you. 